Okay, first, disclaimer for the masses. If you are anybody in the world except for three people, this video is not being posted for you. I don't mind if you watch it, but my intent is not to get you to subscribe with this video. It's not to amuse you or inform you, make you a better person. This video is for three specific people who asked me about my nails. I just posted a video. Wow, I speak like I already posted it. <laughs> I just shot a video um, showing my nails. Give you some bullshit reasons for their specific shapes. Truth is, um, I'm kind of lazy. I don't give a shit what society thinks of me. This is not a fashion statement. Um, if anything, it's an anti-fashion statement. Uh, it's a it's a small act of punk, counterculture, rebellion, and you know I'm not a big mohawk punk, big purple mohawk punk certainly, and I don't go around waving this in people's faces. In fact, I often when I'm holding a cup, I I pull my pinky in just so it's not as noticeable. I I just don't want to deal with other people's issues regarding societal norms. So if you're like tied down to the, these concepts of normality, especially there's some people who are obsessed with normality and they troll the internet for weird people just to make fun of them call them names okay so anyways this video is the second video intended for three people who have sent me private messages specifically about my nails now I haven't tried to conceal them in my videos uh, I've only waved them in the lens maybe twice two or three times I don't know nails all right I do find them useful. I, I, they do come in handy for opening certain things. Um, I like the fact that the nails on my right hand are useful tools for cleaning the nails on my left hand, and I, I keep them pretty cool, clean this way. And I, you know, it doesn't require a special tool, so I, I can do this shit anywhere. Uh, you know, just sitting around, waiting for a bus. Shaw, I like I ever do that. I got my own car. Uh, anyways. But the truth is that um, they don't usually get this long. In fact, this is the longest my pinky nail has ever been. And the last couple times I trimmed, um, I let it keep going because I thought it would be interesting to see how far it goes. And actually that one, that one I'm going to let continue. But, okay, what I do do, as a kid growing up, I would just tear them um, when they started to annoy me, or more often they would break. I couldn't find my tweezers, so, uh, tweezers. This says Tweezerman, the brand name. Um, yeah, here's an example, see? Thumb just, thumbnail just digs in there. Good strength. Um, God, this is a horrible package, though. All this glue. God, you freaking need nail clippers to get in to get your nail clippers out. Okay. Um, so growing up, they were always like this shape, basically. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, just pretty round, but usually before they'd get to this length, I'd either break them off because I was a lot more active as a kid, or um, I'd tear them off. Like on the school bus, I'd just like, you know, you, you get a good start and tear it off. Okay. But now, because of one Halloween costume where I went as a devil and I grew my nails out and trimmed them to points, uh, specifically for that, it was, it was a good costume. Um, 
But yeah, what I realized, if you trim them to points, you're much less likely to catch them on things. Because this where it's flat, where I usually rip my nails is like uh, in my car door or on the edge of like some metal furniture or something. Um, I'll just move my, ham my hand by and catch that edge on something. But when they're pointed, uh, where's a good example? When they're pointed, um, it's a lot harder to catch the edge. Anyways, okay, so what do I do? So, about once a month usually. Alright, I have no idea where that one went. Great. Uh, I just trim them with a couple clips to a point. Oh, this has no file on it. Oh, that's great. I'll find the file later. Anyways, um, yeah, just a couple clips on each one. Just to get them low on the sides. This is not focusing for shit. Uh, okay. I'm just going to get these edges because I always catch, catch these edges on shit. Uh, oh, this is so horrendous. And yes, you three people who I'm making this video for, I know this probably tears you apart. So, yeah. And you can trim them pretty close. But just by putting them into a point. Yeah, that's a horrible job. I'm trying to do this quick. I want to get to sleep. Oh, and I'm running out of time. But yeah, this is pretty fast. It's not too intensive. And what this does is it allows me to ignore them for close to a month before they bug me without breaking them. And that one I'm going to leave. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this lovely fingernail video. It's not going to happen again for a long time or ever, hopefully. <laughs>